here and I'm gonna try to harvest all the natural oh no I already messed up Welcome back, it's me, the fucking puppet, aka Puppet, and I'm excited to bring you another fun indie game. Um, as you guys have been seeing around, Oxygen Not Included, getting pretty popular on YouTube. It's actually what caught my interest in it, and I'm like, I want to play this game. So as you can see up here, I've been playing my own game. I call it the Death Trap because, you know, you're stuck in the middle of a planet, and your little tiny people just have to grow from there and colonize. So the simulation, oxygen not included, is just about making sure that your little colony survives. So my colony, where I had no idea what I'm doing, Cycle 70, I tell you guys, it was pretty intense. It was, it's quite an intense game, so I'm excited to bring it to you guys. So we're gonna start a new game together and then we're just gonna see how this forms. Now the fun thing about the world is that it actually generates randomly. So I can get lucky and have a lot of fresh water and harvest food and oxygen near me and algae, which is pretty much what you need in order for your planet to survive. Or I can get unlucky and just be surrounded by contamination. So I'm excited. But first it's going to generate our little tiny people. I'm not really sure what they call them, but I guess we'll see. So the game actually, guys, Oxygen Not Included, it's brought to you guys by an indie company called Clay Entertainment. They released quite a few games on Steam. Um, this is available for you right now. Pretty much it's $19.99. I will admit, I use my brother's Steam account sometimes to play the games. We both have one, but you know, I'm weird. We're, we're about sharing in our family. So he said, hey, Kathy, I got oxygen not included. And I'm like, cool, I want to play it. And he bought it for himself, and I'm the one who's been cracking out on it. I really liked it. I was just like, this is a fun simulation game. As I mentioned before, I was excited for, for a little bit more of a sci-fi oriented simulation game, and this is definitely it. So we have these little guys here, and every single one of these attributes is very important because we need our characters to be as diverse as possible in order to keep our colony alive. So our first three characters kind of suck. Um, I will keep him because if his letter was not bad and his strength, that will be useful in the beginning. But let's see the chef. The chef has no athletic abilities, but he's a good miner. And digging is very important in the game because that's how you expand. Um, we're gonna shift this guy. No, he sucks too. It's really just random how this how this comes to be. I think we're gonna keep her because she's level two in a couple of different things, and tinkering is gonna be very important when it comes to compost. But I guess that becomes something researching later, so we're not keeping her. Fuck her. I guess we're gonna grab this guy, and that he's a good guy actually. That's probably the best we're going to do there, especially with the medicine. That's going to come important. Um, let's see if we can get somebody learning. Is, okay, so we're going to keep her because learning is important. We need that for research. Yeah, we, so we definitely need learning for research. So she's fantastic. Oh, the athletic is better for him, but negative three learning, you know, we need somebody who's going to be useful. Yeah, okay, so we're going to go with her. Um, Suki, you have like the most Asian name and you're yellowish, so we're going to keep your name Suki. Creativity and learning, you're just going to be a doctor research. Not being very creative with the names, just little clues to remind me what they have going for them. Um, this one's going to be Forrest Gump. <laughs> he looks kind of simpleton and his athletic is pretty high. This is definitely Forrest Gump and a narcoleptic. Reminds me of the scene when he passed out. So the name of our colony, I called my first one Death Trap. Spot on on that. It was definitely a death trap for my little characters. So let's go ahead. My colony name for the crew will be... Wait. Haha, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. It's going to be Journey to the center of the earth, like the actual book. Yeah, 
my god, that took a while, but here we are. Your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body where this is Earth. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got here. It might be best to start digging. Um, do you dig up? Do you dig down? I guess you don't know what the center of the Earth is. So we're going to go ahead and pause the game real quick and kind of see what's around us. So a lot of a lot of empty space. Got some fresh water here, which is good. Um, some algae down here, some fresh water as well. Got unbreathable air. Got some algae and and some well, this looks oddly enough like the last base I started with. Huh. Well, what are the chances? It's a little bit different because I don't have a water deposit here, but it's pretty similar. So, guys, the way that we do the game is you have to construct your colony in order to have your character survive. As they recommended, dig. And they are all just going to start digging. This game is so cute. All the characters have like little unique faces. They look really determined, don't they? Look at Forrest Gump. Go Forrest, go! <laughs> oh shit, Forrest. I'm gonna love Forrest. It's gonna be super tragic if he dies. And I'm pretty terrible at keeping my characters alive. So, so we'll miss you, Forrest, when you go. We will. What my goal is as of right now, I need to come in here and I'm gonna try to harvest all the natural oh no I already messed up <laughs> oh shit we gotta fix this we gotta fix this like now we gotta prioritize this out of nine and this has to be built immediately I don't have anyone with good construction but this needs to stop all right let's see people build it Come on, little guys. You need to. That's all our fresh water. We can't. We can't lose it all. That in the beginning. Oh my God! They can't stop it. It's just flowing. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is not good. <laughs> the intensity of how much I already fucked up is is really is really getting to me. I cannot believe that I've done this. I cannot believe that I've already messed up this badly. All because I didn't pay attention. I feel like my English teacher should be scolding me right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I'm like getting all my food stuck underneath water. I need to I need to get this to stop, but it's flowing and it keeps going. <laughs> I messed up so badly. <gasps> oh my god, I messed up so badly, but I'm freaking, I'm a genius. I'm going to prove to you guys that I can fix this. I'm going to fix this right now. So we're going to prioritize this a little bit, I think. We're going to just build a ladder. It'll be, okay, this is going to be very interesting. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Get my little guys to hurry up. Oh, this is so intense. I messed up so badly. Do you guys see how badly I messed up? I, I positively cannot believe that I did this. I really cannot. Oh, I can. I'm really bad at these type of games. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm playing this, but I, I intensely, I intensely messed up right now. And we're gonna dig all of this out, because I am gonna find a way to fix it. This should take care of this little problem here, and this water should just flow down. And that being the case, we will, we will have solved this, this, this huge ass problem that I created. Oh, Suki, dang, that was a good ass jump, Suki. Okay, so while that's being fixed, I'm going to... Dig out this way, which is what I should have done in the first place instead of messing up that badly. Things got really intense there, didn't they? And we'll start building here. Uh, one of the first things we're going to build is a research station. Uh, research is obviously important, but we need electricity. The research station is important just due to the fact that it will unlock resources and more utilities and discoveries here 
which is pretty much what we're gonna need in order to keep our colony alive. So guys, if you press F1, you see the amount of oxygen you have. So I actually have really, really, really good oxygen and I don't have much to be concerned, but it will become more of a problem later. Now, I got lucky because this little oxalite pretty much will produce just like a little bit of oxygen, which I thought was cool. So as these two things are being increased, I guess one of these is going to be a main runner. Of course, it's going to be Forrest. Forrest can't research. I just feel like it shouldn't be part of his ability, which is fucked up, but it's fine. We don't need anybody combating, and everybody will build, deliver, sweep, um, and harvest. We don't have any compost yet, so we'll go ahead and take that off. Now, of course, we want to keep building. Our base is not going to get any better unless we build. So that is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to place this tile right underneath here because the little people like it as well as it prevents this from crumbling and deteriorating. We're also going to use the electrical wire. You're going to connect the electrical wire from here to here. What I'm going to do as well, a little further down in this area, is connect it to a couple of battery cells. I do believe I might... Oh no, I don't have it unlocked yet. See, that's the importance of collecting the materials and digging for my colony to survive. So we'll go ahead and fast forward that. Um, you can prioritize this with this item here. I guess we will prioritize these at a 7. That way my little people can get their asses to work. Another thing that's going to be important for my peeps is going to be an area to sleep in. This is actually looking pretty nice over here. We do have... Oh, we have a little monster over here, I think. Where is he? Hold on, my thing's a little laggy. I'm sorry, guys. There he is. Look at this guy. Oh, I'm going to murder you once I figure out what to do with the chlorine there. Another important thing to know about the game, guys, is if your little people die, you straight up will have little monsters appear from their bodies. So we'll turn this all into a floor. Oh, shit. I'm terrible. I should definitely probably give them that. Whoa! 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 Look at this fucking little guy. I've never seen this monster before. Like, not once. Who the hell is my best fighter? We're going to have to. This, this just got intense. Suki, it's time to show you us what your, like, Asian samurai people taught you. I love Suki, she's my favorite. She and Forrest, I hope they fall in love and make a baby. Suki, fight! Okay, we're, we're gonna have to slow things down right now. I wanna see Suki go. Go Suki, go. Dang, he's just like biting her gun like a badass. That's a badass little guy. I kind of feel bad for killing him, but he has to go. Oh no, Suki, he hurt you a little bit. Dang, the chase is real. Go, Suki, go. Go, Suki, go. Yeah. Look at her. This, the samurai jeans just handling him like a boss. She doesn't even care. Suki, you're missing quite a bit. Just pull out your sword. Oh my god. Not Forrest. Protect your man, Suki. There, oh, and you just knock right the fuck off. Look at you sweating. You've had a terrible day. Man, I, I feel so bad for you. You know what, Suki? You earned a bed. That that earns you a bed, what you just did. And a massage table. Suki, that's yours, by all means. These little items here is where we're going to be getting our food from. So we definitely want to watch out and be careful. So we need the muck root. I wonder if I can even harvest this. It's time to find out. This is how our little people are going to get food, guys. And the food is going to be very, very important. I think we're going to go ahead and start digging. So what I like the most about this game is that you definitely have to be very careful on how you're building your territory. Because one mistake and you just pretty much ruin the entire thing. Oh no! I already messed up! Things will only get harder. So we're gonna build our colony out this way and I'm going to extend this area out through here. We'll make this our bedroom for our people. Oh, why did you steal that? 
Cute, terrible, terrible bean. That was our oxygen maker. Well, I guess that's a good thing we have a couple of little other ones. But I should probably worry about oxygen soon. So we'll definitely need somebody to research. I need somebody doing that job ASAP. So doctor research. It's time to stop digging and time to start researching. What should be the most important research? I would definitely say farming. But oxygen is pretty important too. Oh, this is this is this is quite a tough choice here. Well guys, it looks like our people are going to sleep. We're three days into our journey. I hope you come back. I'm definitely gonna play this again. Bye!